Hello, what's up? I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create some really awesome sky replacements in Adobe Premiere Pro just like you saw in the preview. And yes, I know I seem very silly here with two microphones but I'm actually testing the audio quality to give you the best quality you deserve while watching a tutorial. So let's jump here in Adobe Premiere Pro and we'll be using some of these files here. So um, I will put the link to them in the description so you can follow along with the exact same footage. I have a footage, uh, well I have a video here of um, if I go to the editing right here. Uh, let's go to that video. I have a video here of a chopper that's uh, just about to like, yeah, just starting his engine um, and I want to replace this guy with this image or with these clouds which are uh, which are a time lapse like so. Very important when you try to do sky replacement in Premiere Pro, actually Premiere Pro isn't the ideal place to do a sky replacement. The ideal place is After Effects. After Effects is a visual effects um, and motion graphics software where you can really go and dive into the effects a lot deeper than you can do in Premiere Pro. Premiere is more editing wise, making your videos look cool, uh, but once you want to dive into them a little bit more, you need to jump off to After Effects. But you can do it in Premiere Pro, but just some things that you should uh, keep in mind. The first thing is that if you are going to do sky replacement in Premiere Pro, make sure that you are recording on a tripod so you have a steady image. You Your shot shouldn't be moving because you can't really track your shot in Premiere Pro uh, to match the sky and stuff like that. You can match, uh, well, you can track some stuff, but you can't like link it up together and stuff like that. So definitely make sure that if you're going to do the sky replacement in Premiere Pro, that you are going to be filming on a tripod. Even if you're holding it very steady, it's all always going to be noticeable so make sure that you are using a tripod and if you're interested in doing the advanced stuff and After Effects I will also be making a tutorial on how to do advanced sky replacement. Another thing to keep in mind is try to avoid like three lines and stuff like that like try to really go for the hard edges when you like see uh, the sea and then you have the sky. Uh, that's a lot better because it's a straight line, it's a straight horizon or if you have buildings, buildings are also very easy because they also have like these straight lines. In my case, I don't have the ideal scene here. So as you can see, we have some trees here. Also very important is to make sure that your sky is as equal as you can get it. So if you're going to do sky replacement, having a sky that is entirely this color would be perfect. In this case, it isn't perfect. Just again to show you what you can do to resolve these issues if you have have like a harder scene to match up. So this scene is definitely not ideal to do sky replacement, um, but I will do it on this scene so you can see uh, a few techniques to uh, do sky replacement in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I have this footage here. I will drag this into a new composition by dragging it right over here and release it. Now I have my scene right here in Premiere Pro. The first thing that I will do is click away and hold alt and click on the audio layer to delete it because I don't really need the audio for this video file. All right, so here I have my video file. The first thing that I want to do is actually duplicate it. So I'm going to hold Alt while selecting it and dragging it two layers above because this layer is going to hold my uh, sky that I want to replace it with. And this is going to be keyed out. I just want this original one as well and I will show you later why I want this, um, but yeah. All right, so now that we have our video file here, what I want to do is duplicate it. So I'm going to click on it and hold Alt and drag it two layers above. The reason being is in between, I want to actually put my sky that I want to replace my scene with. So we'll click on my chopper video and actually before we do that let's go to the project manager right here and just add our Fairyland Canyon and actually this image I found it on pixabay.com it's a great website where you can find free images that you can use commercially so that's uh, something that I'm sharing here with you guys completely free uh, this is not sponsored I just really like that website and actually uh, you can find some really beautiful images there so uh, if you ever need images go over there and yeah maybe also support them with some donations and stuff like that because all of these images are free in uh, this case so uh, yeah pretty cool if you want to use some of these. So I'll put a link to uh, the exact same image so you can go ahead and download that uh, on their website. Okay, so um, right here I have my chopper and we'll go to my third layer right here. And then I'll go to the effects, video effects, keying and color key. So I'm going to drag my color key on my latest chopper video. 
All right, so now what we wanna do is actually pick the color of our sky to actually remove it. And if we are going to look at our sky, you can actually see that our sky color isn't ideal at all. So we have white colors, blue colors, and what we should do if we are in this case, and hopefully you can avoid this kind of shot, uh, but if you do have a shot like this, what you can do is look at the white colors, look at the blue colors right over here, and try to pick a color in between. So I would aim right here. And now you will already see that it's removing a small part of that image. If you're going to increase the color tolerance, you're going to see that it's going to remove the image. And of course, the more you're going to remove it, the more it's going to remove from, from the scene itself as well. Um, what you can do in this case is if you really want to get it as perfect as you can, uh, you can just increase this number just a little bit and then like copy and paste the color key effect again and then pick this color and do it that way. The reason that I'm not going to do it in this video is because I want to animate my sky coming on the screen to give it some really cool editing kind of style. And then I would only want like one stripe to actually expand over time and in this case you would have three and it just doesn't look cool so I will delete this and as you can see if we're going to increase this the more you're going to increase it the more of the actual scene that you're going to see right here so I'm going to set this at 120 and now you can actually see that the helicopter is also removing some parts. We'll keep it as it is right now and what you can do if you have some problems like if you're um, yeah, if not everything is uh, keyed out correctly, you can play with the edge thin right here. Uh, just be very careful with this number. Just uh, go like plus one, plus one or negative values like so. You can actually see what it's doing. It's, it's expanding or removing some more parts right here. But zero actually works very well in this case. I'm going to keep it as it is. And for the edge feather, I'm going to set it at three. So we have a little bit of uh, feather. And actually, because we introduced some feather, we actually have to remove a little bit of edge thin. So one and three for the feather all right so this looks pretty good let's uh let's actually zoom in to see what we can do a little bit better maybe one point one point five that's immediately two so i'm going to set this at one and maybe the feather at something like one as well so we don't really need that much feather and you can already see that this looks pretty neat but now we want to resolve the issue with our helicopter being uh, almost gone and with our trees almost being gone so and also as you can see if you're going to remove a sky with with some trees in the background you can actually see this halo effect around the trees this is something really hard to to fix in premiere pro so that's where after effects would come in if you're going to see like a lot of edits uh, a lot of people just don't well, don't really pay attention to it because sometimes it doesn't really matter that much because your shot only takes like two seconds. So if you're going to do sky replacement in Premiere, just don't try to, um, yeah, exaggerate the scene duration so that people don't have time to actually uh, really go and look in all the detail of your scene. So that's also some trick that you can do if your scene isn't perfect. So I'm going to click on my Fairyland Canyon and I'm just going to scale it down uh, to something like 50. And now we have a lot more detail in our background, which looks a lot cooler, of course. Going back to our chopper uh, on the third layer right here, I want to mask out a little portion of my video scene so we can introduce some, some information back into the scene. So I'm going to really set this to 25 or so. And if we go to the effects controls right here, we can actually see the opacity. We'll pick the pen tool and we'll actually uh, click right over here. Make sure that you actually click really far enough out of your scene because you're going to feather the mask. And if you're going to feather the mask, it might also kind of bleed from the image. So just make sure that you start uh, far enough away and then we'll click and create something like this. So try to follow along with the kind of horizon that you see on the trees and then also make it like so and close it down here okay okay so now what we want to do is actually click on our chopper layer and hold alt and duplicate it once more and this one we want to delete our color key and in the previous one well actually i'm doing it wrong here in the first one right here we want to delete our color key and on the other one we want to delete our mask so there we have it and now if we're going to click on our chopper we can play with the feather for the mask so really increase it like 250 should be fine and then also play with the expansion if you want to and now you can see that it's really bleeding into the scene like so so we still have a little bit of our original sky and yeah it's kind of getting into the scene so you can increase the feather a little bit more if you want to but it looks pretty nice actually so you can actually see that it kind of fits in our scene now we can still play with our mask and really uh, modify it a little bit maybe you want it to uh, be a little bit lower here I'll have to zoom out a little bit more So 
So you can still modify everything here. So this looks pretty nice, I think. And there we have it. So just adding some masks can also fake the sky replacement. The reason why we use the color key is to get the wings of our helicopter into our scene. So now we have something like this, which looks pretty cool. Okay. So another thing that I want to do here is um, I'm going to click on my background layer here. So uh, the sky that we are replacing. And I want to animate it a little bit because we're working with an image. And to make things interesting, I like to animate my images so it kind of looks like a video. So I'm going to click on the stopwatch here for the rotation at the beginning of this layer. So make sure that your uh, sky is selected and go to the beginning of your scene. Click on the stopwatch for our rotation right here. And then we'll move like five seconds. Let's say we want to make our scene five seconds long. We're going to uh, change the rotation to something like 20. And now we have some rotation in our background like so. So this looks pretty cool. And let's do a simple preview. I'm actually going to uh, set an art point here at five seconds. So press O on the keyboard to set an art point, go to sequence and render into out. All right, so that looks really cool. What I want to do now is actually go here at the beginning, um, well, at the third layer and go like at uh, one second. And what I want to do here is click on the stopwatches for our color key. So for everything that we made right here. And then on the left arrow, we'll tap that like four times. Uh, so we have uh, four frames backwards. And now what I want to do is just zero everything out. But I'm going to increase the feather to 500 because we currently had that, uh, this hard edge. Uh, and by increasing our feather, it's going to um, yeah remove that. Okay, so now it's going from 100 feather and it's going to soften out over time. So now we have this kind of animation of our sky popping onto our scene. So this is really cool. If you do this on the beat of your music, um, this, is, this can really give a, a very cool effect depending on uh, what, are you, what you're doing. But if you're working on like music videos, travel videos, this is a really cool effect. So let's do a preview. Boom, we have our sky, so awesome. Okay, so what you can do as well is uh, you can trim down this sky layer and you can introduce another sky replacement, so maybe a time lapse. So I'm going to actually double click on my cloud time lapse and I'm just going to drag in the video by selecting that video icon and dragging it into my scene. And then I'm also going to offset it because I know that the first part of my time lapse isn't that great. I'm going to offset it like this. So now we have some, some clouds here in the background and go to the effects controls to reposition them if you want to. Maybe you want to scale it down as well a little bit like so and make sure that you have it in the right um, well in the right position and again here I like to work with my mask here um, because this really allows the clouds to blend into the scene so like the the far distance looks like an atmosphere of our well it looks like our atmosphere and this is like a little bit more realistic than if you would have like a really big cloud behind trees so uh, we can actually move this up a little bit and also this button here And now we would have a nice transition from our scene to our sky. So it actually looks very realistic. What you can do here is I'm going to press um, I here. So we have an endpoint right here. So we only see this replacement. Um, but now you have a very slow motion scene with a time lapse in the background, which is really, really cool. And as, as I said, um, this shot isn't ideal. I actually shot this scene on the GH4 and I shot it in slow motion at uh, like 96 FPS. So that means that it has really terrible quality and video so uh, the better quality your video is also the easier it will be to remove things um, and I also did it handhold so I actually uh, use the warp stabilizer to uh, remove the motion of my scene and you still see a little bit of motion um, but yeah it's just a tutorial just uh, to show you to demonstrate what we can do here so really cool uh, we have our sky replacement it's perfect I think it really is perfect but one thing I still would like to change is to add a little bit more momentum to my scene and the way I like to do that is select all of my layers right click and nest it I'm going to rename it to nested sky replacement and click OK. And now I have one scene here, one video file. If I double click it, it's going to open up a new sequence with all my layers in here. But we can close that. We don't really need it. But what I want to do here is click on the stopwatch for a scale at the beginning of my timeline like so. Go five seconds into time and maybe change the scale to 110 so now we're actually zooming in a little bit very subtle but if we're going to preview this it's going to allow you to build a little bit more momentum to your scene so zooming in gives more motion to your scene and it's going to make it a little bit more appealing to the eye 
All right, so this is really cool. And then to top it all off, you can put the cherry on the cake and fit everything together to match the colors a little bit better. You can apply a final color grade. So you can go to video effects, color correction, and go to Lumetri Color, apply that to your scene. And in the creative tab, you can actually use a lookup table. So I will just browse here. I will be using one of our own lids, the 300 for example, I will click on that and open that up and you'll see that my scene is going to get that warm cinematic look. Uh, so now everything is going to fit together a little bit better because we're working with similar colors and you just see that it just belongs together. So if you want your cherry on the cake, do some minor color grading or use one of our lids, I will put a link to them in the description and you should be good to go. All right, so that's how to create a really cool sky replacement in Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more. And if you're looking for filmmaking assets like intros or presets and stuff like that, definitely check out our website. I will put a link to it in the description. We have so many things to offer, so there will definitely be something that you might like. So check it out with a link in the description and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.